Hey guys, it's Jasmine from Paint the Grain. Thank you for joining us again. We are here to create our August Mini Maker subscription box. I hope you guys absolutely love it and enjoy it and are doing such a great, great job with your projects. I love seeing all the projects. Um, this one is for fall because that's what august end of august beginning of september is all about um i do have a fun one coming up for september going into october for halloween and then it's just going to get better with that so i'm so glad you're here joining us and let's get started so this one is a really cute um scarecrow you're gonna have the colors black and she has we have black like a really nice folly yellow an orange a cream color and then also a brown color and I have them all set here aside first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint our background so go ahead and just carefully take everything off of the scarecrow so where you're just looking at the um, the board on the bottom and then also the stand these two extra pieces are the stand that's gonna help stand up your scarecrow okay so we're gonna take um, the cream color and we're gonna, we're gonna color the scarecrow. Now you're not going to color the entire thing because if you look at the picture, like this is basically like his hat above the hat. Um, so if you want actually the, um, the blue tape that's on or in your kit, you can take the blue tape um, kind of put the hat where you want it to go. It could really be any angle. It doesn't matter if it's this angle, if it's straight, or if it's a different angle here. Totally up to you. Um, even if you put the flower off to the, the side or anything, totally up to you where you want it to go. So just kind of eyeball that. Um, and then you're going to take the tape and you're going to put it at an angle to basically act like that's the hat. Because everything below that, we're going to paint the cream color along with the stand. Above that is gonna act like it's the hat, okay? So dip your sponge into your cream color after you've squeezed it out and put it on to that, um, onto the top. And you're just giving this light coat, nothing too crazy. Um, you don't have to push or smush or anything. Just give it an even coat. I always like to start in the middle so then that's where the majority of your paint's gonna go. Then you could use the sponge to spread the paint around, okay? So you'll have majority of that cream color just so that um, you have enough coverage for the bottom of your scarecrow and the base, okay? Remember, you're gonna give it very light coats. Got a little paint booger in mine. Now it doesn't have to be, um, I always like to, you know, kind of just like I'm doing spread from down from the blue tape. Cause once you put, peel that blue tape, you're not gonna, um, you're not gonna see what's on the blue tape cause we're gonna peel it off. Right. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing. Um, on the stand, you only need to do one side. I would do one side of both. Right. And then we're gonna paint the same thing when you get to the top part of the stand kind of blot up and down hop like a bunny so the paint doesn't get into that slot because if it gets into the slot and it's too thick then the scarecrow won't fit okay or he will fit he just will be super snug and you want it he's already sn super snug um when we get him on there okay so one coat for everything if you've been with us long um, you'll know we just do two coats, but we got to let it super dry in between. Um, if you're brand new to us, welcome. We're excited to have you. Um, we're going to move that off to the side. Then the next color I'm going to start off with is the black because kind of everything, um, well, I don't know why I want to start off with the black just because I want to, um, the mouth, the eyes and the words happy fall. So if it's easier, you can take another one of those um, tapes and put Happy Fall onto there. When we're dealing with the smaller pieces, we want to hop like a bunny, right? Dip, always blot out 
when you're dealing with smaller pieces and hop like a bunny. Now, because this is a darker color and your edges on here are dark, if you get some colors on the edges, it's okay. You know, it's not the end of the world because it's dark and you're not gonna be able to see it. But if you're dealing with a white color or a light color, um, you will see those. So you don't, you have to be a little more careful like when you're painting. So if you wanna hop like a rabbit and not necessarily a bunny, that's totally fine. <laughs> All right, done with that. So we'll let that dry, okay? Then everything gets two coats. You're gonna move things out of the way and we'll paint the next one, okay? Now let's do the orange. The orange, you have a teeny tiny bit of orange because you're only painting its nose. Um, that's why, so super easy, right? Look how cute. Super easy, super cute. If you want to, actually, yeah, you're gonna actually paint the inside circle. So two small things, orange. And then the outside of the flower, we're gonna do that pretty yellow fall color. Um, if you want the lines to show, which I do, I like the lines showing that's on there. They're kind of scored in there. Hop like a bunny very lightly. Don't blot on a lot of paint. So after you dip into the paint, always take some off so it's not, so it's super, um, it looks dry. And then you're just hopping very lightly. And that way you'll still be able to see all those lines. Okay, so very light paint on that part. The next one is the brown, right? This you can slide on because I'll show you, you'll still be able to see the happy fall. Okay, so we're gonna slide that on very lightly. And the same color, see when you slide it on very lightly, you can kind of see that wood grain showing through. So I have to ask you guys, how was your first couple weeks of school? Because by the time you're doing this, you're gonna have been in school for a couple of weeks. Okay, I hope it was amazing. I loved, love, love seeing your pictures, at least the ones that came in so far, because a couple of you already started school. Um, some of you still have not, that's totally fine. I know a lot of you, start school after um, Labor Day weekend. Okay, so then we're also gonna use that same brown onto here. So we're just gonna kind of take the tape down a little bit. Now remember this, and then look, take it down and then kind of fold it onto itself. This is gonna cover a big chunk of it. So you don't have to worry about making sure that there's a straight line there, right? Take your brown and then paint upwards. You can even paint downwards if you want. Um, but you'll see what I'm talking about because that happy fall slot or happy fall piece of wood, this one here, um, it, it takes up a big chunk of wood so you don't have to worry about those two being in a straight line. Okay, all right. So we're nice and dry on the cream so we're gonna go back and start all over again two coats very lightly if yours isn't dry go to get a snack take a break come back i gotta give myself a little bit more of that cream color I remind me to give you guys more of a cream color very light coats there are some lines on the scarecrow. If you do thick coats, you're not gonna see the lines on the scarecrow. That's totally fine. It's no big deal if you see them or not. Um, this is kind of a, well, actually it is. I have a bigger scarecrow, like a three, four foot scarecrow on the back. He's also a snowman. Um, but why do we need snow here in South Florida? Although some of you probably see snow. Um, those of you who are not in South Florida. <laughs> um, anyways, he's a flip side scarecrow snowman and he's big like he's made out of the big chunky wood um and that was a project for adults here in the studio for a very long time um i think i should and then and then i made like a door hanger one that he flips snowman scarecrow um and i thought oh my gosh how adorable would it be if i just shrink it down so it fits into your boxes and it's something that you can hang in your own bedroom um or stand on your desk now that it's fall, you can celebrate fall and have your own decorations. Or if you want, put it in your kitchen, make it for mom or dad. Or if you have someone in your family that you love even better than them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you can gift it to someone as well. It's a great little gift as well, you guys. 
I appreciate all of you who just love doing this. It's just so much fun just to just relax and sit after, you know, you're changing your schedules around. Um, you're now you're into a routine. And sometimes we just need a really good break. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one another coat. So I hope this is helping um, you all. And we appreciate it so much. I always think the best projects are gonna be for my mini makers box for all my kiddos. Okay, everything gets two coats. And as always, if I ever go too fast for anyone, I just want to make the video short and sweet. Um, but if I ever go too fast for anyone, you know you can always pause. You're just giving everything a very light layers of coat. Two very light coats. Um, yeah, I go pretty fast. But I've been painting forever too. Now the sunflower... If you only want to give it one coat, like I just saw that I really only needed one coat, but I was committed. I was committed anyways to go ahead and giving that a second coat. Okay, that. Now, I actually really like the way my brown looks. I like that wood grain showing through, so I'm not going to give my brown a second coat, neither on his hat, because I think it looks pretty awesome. So once you know everything's super dry sometimes the dark colors like the black will need a third coat so it, after you've you know got a little snack taking a break go back once everything dries let everything dry really well um look at everything just make sure it's to your liking and if you have extra paint and you want to give anything a second coat or possibly a third coat well actually a third coat you've already given everything a second coat um you want to give anything a third coat Go ahead and do so. Totally up to you, however you wanna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and continue on. I'm gonna take off the blue painter's tape very carefully. So you see how there's a, um, what do you call this thing? Um, like a crack, which is totally fine, okay? Let me get the glue. Let me get some glue. Now I may have to get a new glue bottle because my glue bottle's probably almost done. Oh yeah, okay. So I always, before I glue down, and I would recommend you doing this too, go ahead and make sure everything's dry first. Go ahead and just place everything where you want it to go. Um, so whether you want the hat, well, I guess it really matters. Yeah, it matters. <laughs> whether you want the hat um, or the flower on this side or that side, totally up to you wherever you wanna place everything. But I would always recommend to, see my eyeball's still a little, look how cute you guys, isn't she beautiful? Um, it is a girl because I gave her eyelashes. Um, so if you're a boy, here's your new best friend. Um, I always recommend placing everything where you want it to go because that way you see it. And then once it's, cause remember with this glue, once it's glued, it's glued. Um, it's like a super glue. I can't, I can't send my wood glue because it would dry out. Um, but once it's glued, it's glued. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely adorable. Um, the letters you don't have to worry about too much, but you'll be able to still be able to see everything. Okay, she is cute, cute, cute. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing everything down. It really doesn't matter where you start with. Um, Just give everything a few extra, I have to get more. Let me get more super glue for me. You have this little bottle. If you're new to us, I'm gonna show you how to open it. Super glue, you open up the entire top and then on the tip of the top, I don't know if you can see that, um, is a little pop, just kind of. Pop that open, then flip everything back around, and then just take off the top part of the red top. Mine was an old bottle. I just had extra glue in there, and it lasted me one spot. And then, not too much, so very little squeezes. Two dots, really, is all you need. Um, obviously, yes, depending on what you have there. 
Um, oh my gosh, she is adorable. I mean, what's better than fall, right? Nothing is better. I guess summer is pretty awesome. Okay. Eyeball her face down. She can have a crooked smile if she wants. Totally fine. Um, the letters are there for you to guide you. To let you know. Mine's upside. H is upside down. Ah! To guide you to let you know where you're going to put them. I really hope that helps. It helps me a lot. Um, and then that way they don't have to be crooked. You know what I mean? Couple dots per. Nothing too crazy. This is an exclusive project to you guys, by the way. Um, the only other time it wouldn't be is if I have a private event, somebody sees it. Um, that's only happened one time with the bunnies. We had a private event, they, they saw it and they filled up my studio for a private event. So that was the only other time we let that, we let that happen. Um, glue that down first, give this maybe four dots. There we go. She's adorable. And then the last thing is the hat, but I wanna make sure first before I glue the hat that all the words are glued down really nicely and it looks like they are. Now, when you glue down the hat um, and you're gluing them, just to make sure, I would actually glue the backboard, give it maybe eight to 10 dots, and then put the thing on top, put happy fall on top and then press down. You really don't have to press down on everything, but with that, just press down and let that sit for a bit. And while that's drying, you can go ahead and we're going to glue. This is the base. So you have two parts to the base, the big base and then the little base. You're going to glue the little base on top of the big base, right? So flip the little base over, give it a few dots. And then flip that over, eyeball the center, doesn't matter, just eyeball the center, right? Let that sit. You're going to want to let it sit for a few minutes just to make sure if you want to just give everything a little bit of a shake, make sure it doesn't move. If it doesn't move, then you're good to go. Now, this will sit in the slot. Um, see, <laughs> she's so cute. If you want to glue her in the slot, um, just take a couple dots and put it into that little slot there and then stick her in and then let her sit. Let me show you. You can't really, she's she's at an angle. And there she is. Isn't she completely adorable? I hope you guys had a fun time making these. Happy fall. Um, continue to have amazing days at school. And we'll see you later. Bye guys.